excited for Christmas. I love Christmas so much. Look at how much I decorated my bathroom and this is just my bathroom. I love it so much that I decorate every room every year. It's so awesome. This is an awesome apartment. I have an awesome dog and awesome gifts for my awesome boyfriend. I'm so happy. Hey, Derek, uh, uh, honey, sweetie, we gotta talk for a minute. You mind coming over here? Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Uh, I need some privacy, though. Oh, yeah, this is your bathroom. I forgot because of all the decorations. I'm totally breaking up with you. I can't take it anymore. Take what? I'm... I'm a delight. I'm a real delight. You're fine. Every, but Christmas, you're obsessed with it. You decorate every house with Christmas, every room in your house. I can't take it anymore. I mean, oh my gosh. I, I'm leaving you. I've, I've got to go. Ugh, goodbye. Ugh. Wait. He was wearing the sweater I got for him for Christmas, and I hadn't given it to him yet. Oh, what a horrible man. At least I have you, little Emma. Puppy translation, I'm going to go hang out with that dog for the rest of my life. Bye! And my dog ran away. This is not a good Christmas. <sighs> oh, calm down. You should still have a job. Um, hey, it's me. I, I'm the girl who plays Belle at Disney. <laughs> um, about that. Um, you don't have a job anymore. Uh, Disney thinks your demeanor is not right for the theme park, and they're firing you. I'm so sorry, but it had to be done, and I just came for your costume. I've got your, your Cinderella. Wait, Snow White, Snow White. <laughs> I, I, I have to fire a lot of people today, so I kind of forgot who I'm firing. Um, sorry. My demeanor is getting worse all the time. <sighs> this is a terrible day. Sorry about that, but have a lovely rest of your day. Uh-huh. Thanks, Belle. You know that's not my real name. Whatever. Okay. 
Okay, I just need to find a new job and maybe a new dog. Don't think I want a new boyfriend. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Um, I'm not looking for a new boyfriend. Dude, I'm married, but, um, do you know you're illegally living in this house? What? It's on my property. But I'm, I was paying rent. Well, someone's stealing your money, so you better go get it. Ugh, paying rent to my boyfriend, my horrible, no good, lousy ex-boyfriend. Oh, Ryan, he does this a lot. You better take him to court to get your money back. But uh, I won't hold my breath, but you're still evicted. Bye. Boy, I, I could pay you rent. Nope. I'm turning this whole place into a condo. A Christmas-themed condo. Oh, bo <sighs> Christmas. Worst holiday of the year. Every year. Ugh. I can't keep living in the lawn and garden center. They'll find me sleeping in the shed. I can't sleep in my car. The window is knocked out. It's too cold. The <gasps> this listing is new. Bread and Breakfast Inn? That's a weird name. It's just bed and breakfast, but it's still an inn. It's so, it's so cheap. And expensive. I can stay there for the whole month. It's only December 2nd. Oh, oh, this is wonderful. It's near where my family used to live. Oh, this sweater is too heavy. It's where my family used to live. I haven't seen some of them in years. That's weird. But I'll stay there anyway. Because I have no choice. I wish I could take Emma with me. I miss her so much. She's so cute. I want my puppy back. Hello. Hello. Who's here? So many Christmas decorations. There's two trees just in the kitchen. It was worse than me. Oh, hello. You must be Jenny. Yeah, well, yeah, that's close enough, Jenny. Well, um, yeah, what's going on? I thought this was the bed and breakfast in, which I thought was weird anyway, but what's going on? So Christmassy, I, in the brochure it said, we don't ex uh, observe, that you don't, like, do holidays. <laughs> Christmas is it? We, we only do religious holidays. Easter and Christmas, and actually Halloween, because that does have religious roots, and and, and Hanukkah. We love Hanukkah, too. Oh, 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 okay. And all sorts of religious holidays we do. We don't do secular holidays. Uh, okay, um, but, um, bread and breakfast in, I don't, no, it, my husband did it, and he was paying by the letter, and he did bread but it's no it's the gingerbread and breakfast in but i don't know why we put that breakfast in because we serve meals all day long and it goes with your the money that you pay well i'm not paying that much i know a lot of people don't eat that much they're just not hungry i guess from holiday feasting and, and they don't eat that much. Oh, there's a lot of food. It looks really good. Oh, it is. But we ha I have a confession. I mean, the holidays are our um, slowest time. Really? You decorate so much. How is it your slowest time? I just, I'm, was supposed to be taking a Christmas break because I hate Christmas now. Oh, that's so sad. But, um... It's your slowest time? Yeah, we do most of our um, stuff in the summer. We have a lot of people in the summer, not the winter. And my husband's really busy in the winter. He 
works really hard. Oh. But, um, um, he's in holiday shipping. <laughs> okay. So we're, we're double booked. But, but we just, I just talked to a serviceman who's in the army and he has a double room. I'm not, like, uh, staying with some weird room. No, it's an enjoyed room. And he's staying with his niece. And he said that you could stay with his niece as long as you're not, um, how did he put it? Crazy. Well, I'm not, I'm not crazy or anything. Okay, I'm sure it will be fine. You can meet him. Um, he'll, he'll be coming down with the others for breakfast. Okay. This food tastes super weird. Well, that's because they put ginger in everything. Everything. What? Is, is that why my eggs taste bad? Yeah, it's got ginger in it. Ginger everything. What about the pizza? Oh, there's there's ginger in that pizza. That is gingerbread pizza dough. Even if they don't put ginger in it, they sprinkle it on top. You order something from somewhere else and they get to it before you. Your, your chicken nuggets, they have ginger sprinkled on top of them. Ginger, gingerbread cookies, gingerbread men, gingerbread houses, gingerbread popcorn, gingerbread spaghetti and meatballs. You know how, like, Elf from the movie Elf made all that, like, disgusting spaghetti with, like, candy in it and syrup? Well, yeah, I love that movie. Oh, me too. That's what they do with ginger but to everything. There has to be something without ginger in it. Um, what about the bacon? That is gingerbread maple glazed bacon. That is ginger pancakes. They make ginger waffles. They make the ginger eggs. That grapefruit, it's got ginger sprinkled on it. I don't know. How? But they get ginger in the water from the tap. Like, it already has it in the tap. I'll go through the menu. That gingerbread fruit cake. Gingerbread bread, of course. Gingerbread French toast scones. And gingerbread clotty cream with muffins on the side. I'm going to tell you, the scones aren't bad, but... I'm a little sick of gingerbread. I've only been here for three days. How long a year? Till Christmas. I just retired from the military, so... I wanted to spend a Christmas with my family, but they got stuck in the snow. And he got stuck with me. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, but I hate ginger. And there's ginger and everything! Um, there, I'm pretty sure there's not ginger in that moldy. What is that? I think that used to be a hamburger. There's no ginger in that, but I'm pretty sure there's ginger in the moldy cheesecake. Which means I have to eat ginger. I tried to eat this. A lettuce sandwich. Lettuce. There was ginger in Sprinkled on the lettuce. Oh, well, I think I'm just going to have to get used to it. At least I'm not allergic. What would she do if I was allergic? Wait. <laughs> Tell me you should go to a different hotel. <laughs> Cute. That, that woman's sick. She's ginger crazy. Just like, I hate Christmas. Ooh. Whoa, look at that menu item. Ginger toffee fudge. That, mm, that, that sounds good, but I don't want the gingerbread mac and cheese. No, you don't. I've tried it. It's, it's terrible. Is that why a lot of people don't eat? Yeah, I mean, there's ginger sprinkled on the salad with chunks of ginger in it. I'm not even sure if real gingerbread men have real ginger in them, but 
Yeah. She gets, I mean, there's soda, like normal soda. And I think she has made a deal with the company to put ginger in the soda because I taste it. Unless it's in my body now. But there's ginger beer. Is there, there has to be something without ginger in it. Yeah, hot chocolate, eggnog, and cider. That's it. But she does serve a lot of ginger tea. Hmm. Who knew? Lots of ginger. Did I hear you? You don't like Christmas? What? I love Christmas. I've missed so many Christmas with my family, so I just love it. Love it so much. I used to like Christmas. Now I hate it. Why do you hate Christmas? Lost, oh, there was the Christmas. I lost my boyfriend, my apartment, my job, and then my dog. Oh, terrible. When did that happen? Was that like several Christmases? No, that was this Christmas. Oh, I'm really sorry. But you know what? Because I'm bored, I have nothing to do, and my niece has a bunch of activities. <laughs> I, I, I do a lot of stuff. Look, I made this today. They're, they're Christmas crazy here. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to go because I don't want to eat this food. And I have contraband apples and potato chips in my room. You better hurry before she sprinkles ginger on those chips. Yeah, you're right. Bye. <laughs> but, you know, she's got so many activities that... I'm going to teach you to love Christmas again. Why? Because I'm bored and I have nothing else to do. Um, today, would you want to go chop down a Christmas tree? No. But, sure, I'll do it anyway. I've got nothing else to do. Hello, Jenny. I'm Ellie. Well, my real name's Elsa, but I go by Ellie. So, what are you and John doing today? What are you doing? Uh, we're gonna go cut down a Christmas tree? You're gonna murder a Christmas tree? Well, no, uh, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna go murder a Christmas tree. If you don't like that, then you shouldn't like me. Oh my gosh, I love murdering Christmas trees. Can I come with? Um, um, sure. We're gonna leave, uh, like, in five minutes. Or, no, we're gonna leave in an hour. Meet us up front. Okay. Bye, John. <laughs> so, we have to take her now. No, no, we don't. We're we're leaving in we are leaving in five minutes. As soon as you do you wanna finish that breakfast? No. Just go put on something warm and we'll leave. Be obsessed with you. Hi John. Hey Anne. You're going somewhere? Yeah. Uh, we're we're going Christmas tree killing. Yeah, oh, killing? I've never heard it put like that. Yeah, yeah either have I. Well, um, I'm gonna go and not murder a Christmas tree. That sounds really weird. <laughs> but I'll see you later. Bye, John. Bye. So, is everyone obsessed with you? No, only those two. Like, they're crazy. Like, crazy weird. I want to stay away from them. I keep leaving the hotel so I get away from them. Their their little sister just got married, like really little sister, and I think they're upset about it that they're older and not married. Yeah, that's okay. I only have a long lost sister that I haven't seen in 15 years. I'm pretty sure I hear wolves. Look, let's just get this one. We've been out here a really long time. We don't need the perfect tree. Let's just get this one. It's small and light. Yeah, that one. No, and stop pulling at that, the poor thing. We want 
the perfect tree. No tree is ever going to be perfect. Nothing's ever perfect. And you know what? I hardly know you. You could be crazy. Let's just pick a tree and go home. Yeah, let's just pick a tree and go home. A small one will do, I think. I really do hear wolves. Those aren't wolves. They're just rabid dogs. Rabid? Oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? Oh, I really do hate Christmas. Oh, oh, look at that one. What? Not that one. That tree is huge. We'd never be able to get it home. Sure we could. It's awesome. Let's go get it. Okay. Do you have a... Wait, do you have a saw with you? Yeah, I have a tiny saw in my back pocket and some string. Hmm. Okay. This really defies all logic that we could get this down with a tiny saw and and then get it home when it's like three times our size and tie it up with the hotel sewing kit. Wow, this really must be Christmas magic. Told you it was real. So basically we did murder a tree to what? Put it in a field of dirt in front of a brick wall in the courtyard? Well, it is the only undecorated thing in the whole ho hotel. It is horrible looking. It's just completely dead. There's no grass, no rocks, nothing. It needed a, a little sprucing up. Hey, where did you get that sweater? That ugly Christmas sweater. I bought it for her in the Christmas market. And then she let me borrow this dress that she stole from work. This Snow White dress. But I, I didn't steal it. I just forgot to return it. And then, and you know, they did fire me because of my rotten demeanor. Hey, I'm looking for the Victorian carolers. Does anyone know who, where they are? Or who they are? Or we're doing a Charles Dickens event. No, we don't know where they are. We don't care who they are. Well, okay. You're not very Christmassy. Uh, you know, I'm secretly a prince. Dude, no one cares. It's not your story. You stole a costume? No, it was my spare. I just forgot. So sue me. You know, I'm a lawyer, too, and I'm going to try to shut anything down that you put up. It's fun standing on boxes so I can put that huge bird on the tree. Now I'm going to put these. What is that? Oh, it's jumbo-sized popcorn. Yeah, but it will just be for the birds. This is an outdoor tree. Yeah, but um, even indoors, it's for the birds. Like, the birds are birds. Well, not for birds, but rat and mice and bugs. I mean, that's what's going to eat your popcorn if you put popcorn on your tree. I mean, obviously. And I thought it would be nice for the animals if they didn't have to eat something that is coated in gingerbread. Sound thinking, I agree with you. This tree is much bigger than I thought it was. And I thought it was huge. Yep, it's big. Hey, hey, girl in the purple. Yeah, what? What do you want? Could you plug this tree in for us? I, I did string lights. We had to make most of the ornaments, but I did string lights. This will be awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, 
Ooh. And it, it's getting dark outside, so we can even see it better when it gets dark outside. It's so pretty. It's snowing so hard, we should do all the winter stuff. I thought you were going to say stay in. No winter stuff. Sledding, snowball fights, everything that everyone does during the winter, that's what we'll do. It will be awesome. Hey, I don't know what to do for Chelsea. She misses her parents, and she couldn't do her Christmas pageant because... We got snowed in, and then she got, and then her parents got snowed in. Well, we can put a pageant on in the hotel, but, but how long would it take? Oh, if watching um, holiday movies for my entire life tells me anything, we can put on an awesome show in like a day. Don't worry, we'll start preparation when we get back from snowboarding. I make an awesome snow angel. Yeah, you do. Yours is the best. Yep, it's, it's the best. Let's go do the next activity. Is that a carrot? No, I think it's a turnip. But we made an awesome snowman. Yeah, he's pretty cool, even though we use hydrangea leaves. Oh, snowball fights are awesome. <laughs> yeah, I got snow. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I got ya. <laughs> I'm gonna get you back. Yes, I will. Oh, you got me again. You missed. Yeah, you missed. <laughs> oh. Her. Revenge will be mine. Whoa, oh, oh, revenge is yours. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> you decorated your sled? It's a sled. No, the hotel did it. Look at this thing. It's awesome. It's so beautiful. It's so cool. Yeah, I didn't decorate it. They did, but I think it's awesome. I love this hotel. They are crazy. Love it. <laughs> I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't slow down. Help. I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, you're bringing me down, too. <laughs> They're terrible skaters. I can skate circles around everyone. I can go over here and then... Turn out on the other side. You know why? Because I'm literally skating circles around you. This is so much fun. I love it. I love skating. This place is awesome. Ooh. Oh, can I skate too? Oh, you're a good skater. Yeah, you can skate with me. And then we can have go have Coco because Coco's my name. I know that. You work at the hotel. <laughs> this is so much fun. Love having my days off here. How can they have an all-year skating rink when they only have, like, 300 people who live in the town all year round? That's strange. Oh, Coco. Mm. Coco. Coco. Oh, my God. Ah, you spilled it on me. What is this? Tastes delicious. What is what is this? It it's cocoa. I mean, it's just co hot cocoa. Well, it's moderately warm cocoa because I've been drinking for a while. It's for sale over there. You can go get it. I love cocoa. Oh, cocoa, cocoa in my hotel room. Cocoa, 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 cocoa. Mm, cocoa. I love cocoa. I love hot cocoa and warm cocoa. <gasps> Mm, hot cocoa with marshmallows, hot cocoa with whipped cream. I love hot cocoa. Oh, it's empty. This hot cocoa is empty. I have to go get more hot cocoa. Bye.
Come on. It's time to leave for the gingerbread competition. We're totally going to win this year. It's going to be awesome. I'm not going with you. What? You're, you're not going? No, I, I'm going to enter with my friend Coco. I think we're going to win this year. Totally. We are totally going to win. We're awesome. We're so awesome. Why don't you enter with that friend of yours? The one you hang out with all the time. We're going to lose. Look, they're... They made, out of their red taffy, they chewed it up, and they made it into a Christmas tree, and then covered it with icing, and all we did with our black licorice is write Merry Christmas, and then make holly out of candy, and some snow out of our icing, we're totally gonna lose. They are not gonna win. <laughs> you mean we can win? No, we can't win. Because you're so concerned that your niece jilted you that you forgot to scope out the other competition. What, there was other competitions more than two people entered? Really? Yeah, look at that one. Oh, yeah, we're totally losing, you're right. I'm so excited that we've won. We love Christmas. We've been to every Christmas hotel in the state and we intend to go to more we're so excited oh this is a dream come true we love competition and we love it we, we won the singing competition the tree decoration competition the mistletoe kissing competition of course they said that wasn't a real competition but we won anyway because we love to win and we love Pet competing, and we were really trying all that hard. Mm -mm. My husband doesn't say much, but we are so happy that we won. We don't even care what the prize is because prizes don't mean anything. It's yeah, this is the prize. It's um a huge decorative pillow, handmade. There you go. Thanks, Jenny. Oh, this is second prize. This is mine. I, I really like this. I'm going to go put this in my room. Oh, congratulations on getting second place then. Oh, and this is third place. I'm going to put this in my room too because, you know, Chelsea. Congratulations again, I guess? Yeah, this is awesome. I like it. Yeah, that's going to go right there for now so she can pick it up. How are we going to put a competition on in one day? This is ridiculous. Don't worry. We have tons of decorations from the hotel. Besides, she's 10 years old. She's not going to care. And they, they cleared out the kitchen for the gingerbread competition. So we can make a stage out of whatever decorations we have. They have tons here. Okay, I guess we'll try.
Vince, you gave me this sweater from the Christmas market, which I love so much, and it's giving me the love of Christmas in my heart again. I love ugly Christmas sweaters. I got you an ornament for the tree that you won and the gingerbread competition because you're so awesome. A lot of times you don't see the people you see on vacation ever again, but sometimes you do. I think you're great. Thank you. You're awesome too, and I made you a present. I made you mistletoe, so you can kiss my uncle, because I know you both want to. It's okay, but I'm going to look away, because that is gross. So gross. I don't think it counts if you make the mistletoe yourself. Oh, I was bringing something for my niece. I, I totally think it counts. I, I think it counts. Leave it made out of tinsel. It's pipe cleaner. Big pipe cleaners. See, that counts. That totally counts. Uh-huh. The thing, you only hang out, hung out with her because you felt sorry for her. I'm leaving because this is the time that I overreact. I'm back now from overreacting. I'm so sorry. Now we can get... Oh no, this is the time we almost kiss and don't. Hey, bro. Glad I finally see ya. Hey, kid. Oh, your two dogs, they were driving me crazy. Uh, I only have one dog. What? There were two when we went to your house. Oh, well, well, oops. Must be a stray. Turn your back to me. Yeah, that that seems about right, Emma. Emma, Emma, you baby, Emma. Ugh, the dog gets kisses and I don't. Hey, hey, baby girl. Hey, mom. <gasps> My long lost sister? Generica! Sally! Wait, your name's Generica? You didn't know my full name? Yeah, if I did, I would have known that you're actually my sister in law. <gasps> that means I'm your really, I'm your aunt. <gasps> Amazing! And now you have two dogs. John, this is so amazing. I'm so happy. I love you. I love you too. Generica, will you marry me? Yes, because you make me so happy. I now pronounce you man and wife. I do. I do too. And now for all the things that were supposed to be in this story, but I didn't have time to put them in. Have you seen my wife? We own an inn together. And um, I tell everyone I'm in holiday shipping, but I'm really Santa Claus. <laughs> He's kidding, honey. You, we're not supposed to tell anyone that. Shh. We love Christmas. I told you, we love Christmas so much. Bye. We're going to an all-year-round Christmas hotel next. Awesome. <laughs> this cat ear headband is to hide the fact that I'm an elf. 
<laughs> I'm an elf. I gotta go. But Don't tell anyone. It's like a huge secret. I'm an elf. I'm an elf. My secret is I love hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Chocolate. I got. Oh, I have to go get hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I wish I could find someone to love. You know, my sister, my best friend. My sister, she got married. My brother just got married. His name's Kristoff. I'm just Chrissy. Oh, yeah, it's embarrassing. We're fraternal twins. Annabelle, my name's Anne because my sister Annabelle just got married. Oh, I missed the wedding. We're bro. There, I'm her brother-in-law. I, I. Hey, you wanna go? Talk about how much we love Christmas? No, I kind of hate Christmas. I'm sorry. <gasps> I have to teach you to love Christmas. Because you get to eat hot chocolate, drink hot chocolate, and, and eggnog, and lots of Christmas cookies. Oh, cookies are good. Uh, I'll give it a try. Let's go. I'm their other brother, but Elsa won't give me the time of day because I'm not hot chocolate. The end of the story. Oh, they really are a cute couple. And they all lived happily ever after. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you have a great holiday. And thank you, Hope, for your help from the Village Gift Shop for everything you did for my video. <laughs> This film is dedicated to my nieces and nephews. It's also dedicated to the kids who sometimes take over my channel for me and my subscribers. And a special thank you again to Hope from Village Gift Shop for lending me a lot of the decorations that went into this film. Thank you all so much. And thank you for those of my subscribers and friends who voted on what they wanted to see in this video. Thank you so much.